Hi, it's John Ray, JWD.com, pre-tech ed. We're about to jump in. We got the key tree guys who are playing a prominent role once again. You guys always seem to wind up on stage doing one thing or another. I've got Nick Dutson and I've got Will Powell. How are you doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah, you guys keep doing this. So tell us about what inspired you this time. What, what did you create? How did you get recognition for it? Well, I mean, Store Trek started because... Well, we saw that kind of an e-commerce solutions online, they haven't changed the interface, the way that you actually buy products. They're in lists or grids and things. So we thought we'd actually try and build something using all the latest technology. And, I mean, 3D and voice recognition. And we wanted something that kind of really worked on the back end as well. So we chose SAP NetWeaver and SAP HANA to process all the data that kind of goes on underneath to make that experience possible. So help me to understand this. You think that online shopping is basically kind of becoming a little dry or stale, and, and that's maybe costing businesses money, and this kind of thing can help. Get, explain what's different about what you're doing. Well, as Will said, online shopping hasn't changed, right? So you could build another static website, but if you're going to actually make a difference and, and draw people into your store, how about if you give them a completely different interface, which is what we've done w with a 3D interactive interface for shopping, uh, there's no keyboard, no mouse, it's all voice controlled and action controlled by reaching out towards the TV. So that in itself will give businesses a competitive advantage because people will want to go to their store and actually try shopping in that way. So you're going to be on the demo jam stage just a couple days. How are you going to blow them away? What, what are they going to see? Um, well, they're going to see uh, a shopping experience in which we go shopping in using the data set from a, a UK retailer. The data is real. Um, we're going to shop just by making gestures towards the TV. The TV is going to react exactly to what we're doing. Uh, we're going to put all of the products into a basket, which we built on an iPad, and uh, hopefully that will, that will do enough to blow everyone away. And it's, it's an experience that would work on anyone's TV with an Xbox or PlayStation that they have at home. So we, I mean, that's where we're going with this. We want to get it into people's homes and make it into a real product. And yeah, I mean, it looks really cool. So I know that NetWeaver Cloud has figured somewhat prominently in some of your work, and that's an interesting piece. Uh, I know they may change the name, so by the time this comes out, it might be called something else. But the point is the Java Cloud, the JPass, whatever. What have you been able to do with that, and what's valuable about that? Well, I mean, what we've been able to do is we've been able to take an application, and then we don't have to worry about the hardware or what we're running on. We've been able to connect with MaxDB or even with SAP HANA. And uh, in CO Vision, that's now we're upgrading and putting onto uh, SAP NetWeaver Cloud and SAP HANA, we have uh, 918 million rows of data that we can process incredibly quickly to give a, a kind of immersive experience with glasses and kind of that kind of display. So it's kind of, it's given us the ability to process data without having to worry how long it's going to take and what it's running on. And CEO Vision, which you referred to, it sounds a little bit out there in some ways, like uh, an executive wearing goggles, uh, but, but you think this is actually coming, right? Uh, what, what is this going to do for an executive that they couldn't do before? Well, CEO Vision is, is basically a system where somebody puts on 3D goggles and then they can analyze all sorts of data, anything that you would in a normal SAP system. But it's all about the user interface. Again, uh, in Keytree, we, we talk and we focus and spend a lot of time getting the user interfaces right. So CEO Vision, again, is making gestures and you can, you can interact with any data set. And I think, I mean, everybody knows, actually getting a CEO to look at the figures, look at the numbers, is nigh on impossible. We face the same thing in our company. They just don't look at the data, but if you can give them a cool way to interact with it, you stand a real chance. And it's not just limited to what we can do now, because we're looking where this is going. And uh, Google came out with Project Glass earlier this year, and they've basically said, we're going towards glasses-based displays. And other companies are doing the same kind of thing. So you're kind of seeing that as a trend of maybe that's the next generation after the mobile phone. So you hope someday you get Bill McDermott to put on a pair of glasses on keynote stage and walk through SAP sales data, stuff like that. That's kind of what it would be? That's a, he, could, he could absolutely do that, yeah. And, and it's because it, you, you have the glasses in front of you, you know, you're actually wearing them. Everything's just appearing in front of you. We, uh, we also built in facial recognition. So if somebody was to walk up to you uh, in the corridor, we could recognize their face, tell you exactly who they are, and maybe their sales data or, some, or you know, show a recent email that you wanted to talk to them about. And, and we, uh, we even had another application where we actually could get real-time translation to work. So you could look at someone and they could talk a foreign language. And we can actually use the system to provide me with real-time subtitles of what you were saying in my own native language. I think one really interesting thing about your firm that I've noticed is that you're, you don't just come to these uh, inner jams and type events to 
kind of have fun with the tools. You, you like the learning part, but you're actually, you're serious about the product part. You actually want to sell these tools to customers and things like that, right? Is that part of your vision here? Absolutely. I mean, I think with CEO vision, we're a number of years off because uh, some, of the, some of the hardware has to catch up. But in terms of Store Trek, this is, has very, very real potential to become a product that, that uh, people would want to use and uh, you know, Microsoft or with Connect or, or PlayStation would actually want to host it. So I think there is real potential with this one. And yeah, I mean, as I said before, we can use the Xbox, which there are millions of the devices already been, been sold and already sitting by TVs in hundreds and thousands of homes all over the world. Okay, so here's what I want to understand. I just don't see that many firms like Keytree out there. So does that mean that working with these SAP tools is really hard? <laughs> or like, why is it that you guys are doing this and other firms aren't? I can't say why others aren't. I can tell you why we are. We're doing it because I think, first of all, we have great vision at the top of the company who realize that if we can push the boundaries, that's a, a fantastic marketing tool to be seen at Demo Jam. It's not just the people in the, in the room. It's also all of the publicity that goes around with it. And the, the people at the top of our company are saying, let's build these tools. Let's see where we can go with it. A, we are familiarizing ourselves with all the latest technology, which is great. So when somebody does come and want to use goggles, they want to use in Microsoft Connect to interact with data. If we're the firm out there that's already done it, then people will come to us, and that will create opportunities for us. And it also means that we can use technology that we have in these kinds of things. And so, so if we come up against a problem or something a customer wants, we can actually say, well, that piece of technology we've already used, and we know this is what it's going to be capable of today, and this is actually where we think it's going, and we have a much better understanding of how that's going to go. So in a nutshell, would you say the barriers to developing with SAP and other technologies, it's, it's more of a cultural barrier now than a tech barrier for Absolute, a lot of this absolutely, stuff? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. All right, well, you heard it from the Keytree guys. They're about to go head-to-head -head with uh, an 11-year-old kid on the Demo Jam stage. We'll see.